What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know yesterday we dropped our reactions to the HN Nightmares speculation map, which happened to have Stranger Things on it. And then I wake up today and Stranger Things gets announced. Actually, no, I was at work. What do you mean, woke up? I was half asleep at work. I woke up. You woke up. woke up and it was announced. You woke up and it was announced. Uh, Stranger Things 4. Coming back uh, to Halloween Horror Nights. Thanks for paying attention, Jordy. Sorry. Or we just skip to exactly 32 seconds in the video. Jeez, another conspiracy theory? There's no hidden stuff in the park. <sighs> Let me text Jordan. Okay, I gotta go. Ava's almost here. Stranger Things making its return. This will be its third time at the event uh, with it coming back, I think, as far as 2017, 18. 18, and then 2019. Yeah, 18 is the first iteration. Um, and we haven't seen it since 19. So, Sammy, uh, what are your thoughts of Stranger Things returning to the event? Yeah, so I first want to want to take this back. 2018, really good house. Um, I, I, I didn't get to attend it, unfortunately, because I was still a little scared boy at that time of my life. Um, and so 2018, I've heard nothing but good things about this maze. Um, you know, quality sets, it was in a sound stage, all good things for it. In 2019, we flash forward, um, and that's the first maze I think I do at HHN that year, which was season two with a little bit of season three, just a quick little spring look in. Yeah. And I and when I initially went through it, I was kind of like, not super good. I was like, uh, there wasn't a lot of scare actors. The set looked nice, but I wasn't going to walk through a, a beautiful set at that point in my life. I was going like, I want to be scared, so scare me. This house scary. We're not talking about that today. No. Now we're now we flash forward to to this year and you might be thinking well you were kind of disappointed with the last one but i'm not actually i watched a few walkthroughs of the after it and i just think we had a bad walkthrough when i went through um, i think there was a lot of good things that happened in the previous iteration of this maze now house um that makes me excited I, i'm excited to see what season four brings i know that season four was a, a favorite of many fans um so many great moments um, and so many great opportunities to come via this. Um, and shout out to Exploring Attractions, our, our boy Scott over there. Um, I believe he got a little sneak peek um, as we were going through the tram or something. I don't know what he was doing, but it, it looks like Eddie's trailer was flashing out there. So that just got me pumped. And then we got the official announcement. Um, and so I'm excited. I mean, dude, it's going to be a, a banger of a year so far. I mean, if you look back, you know, so far we have – you know, Chucky announced we have um, The Last of Us, Naughty Dog, uh, beautiful game. That's announced. Now, Stranger Things uh, is returning to the event based around uh, Season 4. I mean, there's so much to pull from from Season 4. I mean, Season 4 was 
arguably easily one of my favorite seasons and um it goes to show with the decor and stuff um but i i'm super excited to see what they what they bring to life with this now i am hearing we're going to get some people in actual vecna suits and stuff so like i'm excited oh, yeah. i'm excited for that to see like an actual vecna and whatnot um there's a lot of things i want to see there's one thing in particular that everyone knows that i want to see um, and I think a lot of people want to see it too, and that is Eddie Munson playing some Master of Puppets on top of the trailer. Whether it's the beginning or it's the end of the maze, I, I'd prefer it to be the end of the maze because that'd be like really cool to kind of exit out to. Um, but yeah, I, I, you're talking about those photos that uh, Scott had put up uh, about, about a week ago on social media, or a few days ago actually. And yeah, um, it, yeah it looked like it was a trailer. I could see us easily starting maybe where. Um, you know, we first see Eddie and 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 Christy, uh, and Christy going kind of mental when Vecna uh, gets control of her. Uh, from the press release that we got, they did mention you are going to be following the the nightmares of Vecna and whatnot. So you are going to be seeing those killings, and you're going to be seeing like all those things that Vecna does to his his victims and whatnot. Uh, and one of those victims, who is also one of the, the the main people of the show, is Max. So y you probably will see Max. You'll see her going through, um, you know, Vecna's uh, mind tricks and stuff. Uh, so I'm excited to see what they do with this. There's there's so much you can pull from from this season alone. I mean, there was there was a lot of moments going back to Hawkins' lab, and I remember they they executed that so perfectly in the season one uh, maze that they did back in tw uh, 2018. Uh, so I'm excited to see if, if they bring that back. I'm excited to see, you know, just a lot of things that, that were just good with that, um, you know, with that, that, that show, that season alone. Yeah, I agree. Um, and like you mentioned, Max, um, what I'm excited to see and what I anticipate to see um, is in one of those rooms, we're going to be running up that hill. Um, and so I'm really hoping uh, whether we actually have a, an actor performing this film or we're doing it with animatronic and a, a dummy or whatever, but like getting to see like Max raise up, that'd be super sick. Um, and it's like, as that's happening, the lights are changing, you're hearing running up that hill. Um, that'll be super sick. Uh, following Vecna is going to be cool because Vecna is quite terrifying. Um, and just going to the upside down in general, is going to be super exciting. Um, and so as long as, as long as we have some scares in this, I'm going to be happy. Like, I, th I definitely know that the budget's going to be there for a really good scenic design, a really good lighting package, a really good sound package. So I know all the technical aspects are going to be there. Um, the only thing I would say I'm a little reluctant on is, like, where are those scares going to come from? Um, but you mentioned things like the Vecna suit. So if we're going to get a ton of those actors coming out and, and doing those things, I think I'm going to have a good time. Um, even if there is, even I walk through that entire maze and don't get scared one time, I can promise you that the design is going to be so good that I will be happy walking out. Yeah. Now, I don't know how happy I'll be with the line, just because I know that line is going to be three hours um, on general admission. But um, so our, we're going to tell you this now, and we'll probably tell you this again as we get inch closer to HHN. Get that express if you can. Um, just because that's going to make your time that much better and you'll be able to experience it all. Yep. Um, and, or if you're not able to get Express, that's just out of your budget. Uh, now that you do have to pay for early entry, pay for it. I think it's like 15, 20 bucks. I don't know what that number is, but we're going to tell you pay for that um, because if you go right when the event opens at 7 p.m., I don't anticipate you being able to finish everything because um, I anticipate with things like um, that have already been announced, Chucky's going to have a long wait. Um, the Last of Us is going to have a long wait, and then now Stranger Things. So there's a lot of things that are going to be eating up crowds, um, and I definitely anticipate very busy nights. So even if you're going early in the season, I do think that these lines are going to be chaotic. And if the speculation map is anything that it, it's been with, with HN Nightmares, I mean, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty stacked year this year. I mean, there you know, there's a lot of rumors and speculation going around, so nothing's confirmed yet. Um, but so far, we do have three confirmed. That is, of course, Chucky, The Last of Us, and Stranger Things four now. Um, and and fun fact, and we kind of already mentioned, kind of already said it when we were talking about the the photo. But yeah, uh, Stranger Things will be in the soundstage that the weekend was uh, in last year. Um, so and I think also Stranger Things has been housed in there both times that it's that it's been at the event. So. Uh, it, it's going to be cool to see uh, one to go back into a soundstage mazes. We, uh, Sammy and I are huge fans of soundstage mazes, and we love how you can control atmosphere and stuff, especially with going in the upside down. Uh, I've always pictured it as like a very cold place. Um, 
but that's just me. Or it could be a very hot place. I, I don't know. But it looks like it'd be like a very cold place or something. So they can really touch on that. And I remember them even bringing that kind of aspect of the upside down to life in, in real life was just fucking phenomenal. So I'm excited to see what, what that's going to be about. But, um, yeah, dude, this, this is going to be a good one. Uh, and it's kind of making me think whether or not to get a frequent fear or not. Because, I mean, so far... I I I I don't know, man. I mean, if they're gonna put in the Eddie Muncie sin, that's probably the only thing I'd go see like every fucking time. Yeah, I definitely think it's a it's a tough it's a tough thing to to balance. I don't I I don't have the budget for it or the the time to to visit more than one maybe two times. But uh, it's definitely something to to consider um, for for all of our SoCal viewers. Is is, is it or even Orlando because this is going to both coast. Um, is, is this something that may be worth getting that frequent fear or in Orlando, they have like that September pass or uh, I know historically Hollywood has also released more value passes. Um, is that something to maybe consider um, just because like you, we've already mentioned three stack houses. Um, I think we're going to get either five, maybe six more. I don't know. Um, I know that we're, this video is releasing on a Friday. We're two weeks away from midsummer. I know that at midsummer, John Murdy is already promising an announcement there. Um, I, and so if I had to guess it, that, by the way, happening. if I had to speculate that announcement and, and, and being the track record of, of midsummer events, it's, it's probably going to be Monster. universal monsters. And I, I, monsters. I really am hoping for that too, because I, I, I would love to see, uh, if, if they, you know, showcase any tracks, if slash is going to make a surprise appearance like he did last year, that was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm hoping that like we get to see if it is Phantom of the Opera, which I'm really hoping it is, uh, if we get to kind of hear that like overture kind of, but in guitar form, like that, that opening fucking song to Phantom of the Opera, the, the actual show opera is such a banger that if, if Slash can recreate that, but like a little bit more scarier, darker and with his guitar, that could sound fucking awesome. And I'm stoked for like, if that is the, the thing, but you know, that's just me. Yeah. So. Even yeah, even if we obviously we're not 100 percent the speculation is saying yeah fan of the opera Universal Monsters, but even so th that would be if the fourth house or whatever it, whatever number it may end up being, that's gonna be a really good fourth house. Yeah, uh, I, I think regardless, we get, yeah, whatever Universal Monster it's going to be, it's gonna be a great house. I can promise that. Yeah, yeah, and then if the other things are lining up to be true, we get Evil Dead Rise. I know that we covered this on the channel yesterday. Uh, we already know they've already laid the groundwork based upon the way that Whore Hotel looked. Um, that was a really cool walkthrough. Um, so there's a lot of great things happening. Um, and, I, and I really, like, full transparency, I felt like last year wasn't uh, Universal's best year um, in terms of the product they did. Now, granted, that may be just because we went on a general admission ticket, and by the end of the night, I was done with it. But um, I, I, I just, you know, there's a lot. I just, I'm really excited. I, I, September can't come soon enough. I think uh, what I'm seeing is we're about eight weeks out from from Horror Nights opening up. So I, I, the the time is ticking. And like like we mentioned, there's five more announcements, maybe six um, coming. So stay tuned because um, we are going to cover each and every one of them as, as quickly and as efficiently as we can. So especially if this little guy gets announced. I know that some people are not excited about this little guy, but I'm excited about this little guy. I just, if it has you, 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 I, I hope you know it's going to be literally a shot-for-shot shot remake. Just don't expect anything. It's the scariest maze I walked in that year. Scariest maze I walked in that year. That's because 100%. That, was, that was not a great year, though. <laughs> so that's not it was even... scariest maze. Walking through the black in that maze is fine. This is one of the few times where I think the black walls are completely fine because I don't know where Pazuzu is coming from. We'll, we'll talk about that more. Uh, if it gets announced. If it, uh, if it gets announced. If it gets announced. But uh, what are your guys' thoughts of Stranger Things 4 coming to the event? We are super stoked for it. I mean, I, I uh, hands down, one of my favorite seasons of all time. So I, I will be there opening night. I, I won't probably be wearing a Hellfire shirt, but I'll be wearing my, my vest because, you know, Eddie wears a vest and my vest is my vest. So. Yeah. Anyway, leave your guys' comments down below and uh, check out our social medias uh, at the Knights of Horror on Instagram, Thread, and TikTok, at Knights of Horror on Twitter, and at Knights of Horror Gaming on Kick. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button, bell notification, be aware every time we put up a new video, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.